Object 135. Choose one of the following items. A Courtney Gears musical lunchbox, a talking secret agent clank bobblehead, or this super cool ace hardline action figure with kung fu grip. Wow. Ouch! Hey, what's a big idea? Object 136. Choose one of the... Oh, Courtney Gears! Subject 137. Wouldn't you like to play with an Ace Hardlight action figure? All the cool kids are doing it. Yeah, whatever. That guy's a tool. Uh, yeah. So if uh, Ace is uh, a, a tool, whose action figure would you rather have? Huh? I don't know. Maybe that Lombax guy who smoked reactor. He was like, Who you thought you were going to Ow! Mom! Subject 138. Welcome back to Red Zone fans. Today we're live from Planet Torval. Team Darkstar has dominated the Dread Zone circuit so far, but I think their luck will stop here. They've just been sent to one of Torval's massive Ace Hardlight toy manufacturing plants. And although the plant was shut down due to shoddy sales, one of Ace's ships still remains. Team Darkstar will have to find that ship and escape with it before Dread Zone's most elite forces hunt them down. That's one ugly dude. Ratchet, my nav grid shows a hover bike up ahead, but you will have to deactivate a force field to gain access to it. It's Juanita. Just pray we don't have any more wardrobe malfunctions. <laughs>
force fields. A group of flying drones power the shields by staying in perpetual motion and transferring their kinetic energy. Ha! Even though I just read that off a cue card and don't have any idea what it means, I do know that Team Dark Star will have to destroy the drones to disable the force fields. And actually, I read that part too. What are you gonna do, sue me? Ratchet, shoot down the swarm of flying drones in order to deactivate the force fields. driving a mint green Man Ray 5. Please report to security. You're parked in my space. 